All right, guys, it is me, Dave from the Koto, back with another playthrough for you. This one I'm very excited for. I don't know what prompted me to want to play this game, but it's from the Xbox 360 era. It's called Vivo Pinata. It is the first of three that were made on that console. Another one was made on the DS. But I'm going to play through this one. Uh, I'm playing it on the Xbox One because it is backwards compatible. But uh, I went into the game and I did the tutorial like introductory stuff first just to get that out of the way so that has already happened on my garden because that stuff is some of the boring part of the beginning of it so I want to skip over that uh, what I'm going to do is the plan is going to be to work on the journal the player awards the pinata awards I'm going to try and get all of these things taken care of. So all of the the romance, the master romancer, and the variants of the Whirlum, the Spearmint, the, the Serpent, the Donut, and any other ones that show up, I want to try and get all of the things done. So that's going to be my main focus for this garden. Uh, I may stream some of this, but uh, for now I'm going to be recording it for YouTube. Oh, it looks like Willie wants to talk to me. He's going to tell me about how he can make me a Whirlum house. Basically, he will build the houses that I need for breeding. Oh, he's going to give me one for free. Uh, it's huge. Unnecessarily huge. Let's put it there. So there are certain requirements that need to happen for pinatas to come to your farm um, as you can see like the black and white syrup right there he's not part of my farm and once they turn color they are uh, so for instance the whirlum I'm not gonna go over every single one as they pop in but just so you understand what's going on here to have them show up you have to have certain requirements the whirlum wanted so many square pinometers of soil or grass which is obviously my whole area is grass so that's fine now to uh, mate them all I have to do is have the house or to breed them all I have to do is have the house and they you get the romancer reward once once the they breed once and the master romancer once you have seven of the same one on the far on the farm or in the garden uh, what I'm doing now is I'm basically just waiting for Willie to show up, where is he? There he is. He's gonna put together this Whirlum house. This is uh, a little slow, but it's just so that the beginning part of it. Now, what does he want to come here? He wants to eat a mouse mallow, which obviously I haven't had yet. Haven't seen one yet. Try not to. He's checking out my Whirlums. I'm going to try not to go too crazy trying to do too many of the variants and everything at the same time because it gets a little overwhelming. But there are certain ones that require uh, certain pinatas to breed. So let's reveal this building here. And we've got the Whirlum Hut. That is their house. Now, now these two are ready to romance. I tell them to do it, and then I'm presented with a little mini game. And then the first time that they romance, you're presented with their little dance they do. Uh, but we're going to do the little mini game now for the Whirlums. Don't want to hit the bombs because you blow up. Any money you pick up is a bonus. And in the later games, this little mini game is where you get. I'm not going to go for that far one because it's not a big deal right now. This little mini game is where you get the variants. The variants in this one are basically just feeding the pinata certain seeds. Uh, which we don't have yet. We need to get to the point where we have the town and the shop so we can buy some stuff. But these guys are going to go in there. They're going to romance. And we're going to see their little dance. If you played this game, let me know in the comment section what you thought of it. If you're enjoying this and you want to see more of it, you want to see me play through this, just hit the like button, leave me, leave me a comment in the comment section on what you think I should work on next, or any tips or tricks you have for this. I haven't played this game to completion 
ever. I've only played like the intro parts of it before recording this. So let me know what you think. Here's a little Whirlum dance. And they'll be given an egg. The egg will hatch into another Whirlum. And we'll have three of the seven that we need for the Master Romancer. And hopefully the music is coming through. It looks like it might be a little quiet. I'm trying to fix that now. There we go. Pinatas have made an egg. After pinatas have done the romance dance, a new baby pinata is that should be perfect. So they do the romance dance, and that lady brings an egg, and the egg hatches into a new one of that. Pinata type. But we're basically just waiting for the town to open up. Pinata awards, you can see I have the the visit um, awards for those three. Because they actually walked onto the garden. The reside because the sparrowman apparently lives here now. And the romance Romance badge because the Warlums have bread. Once I have seven of them, I'll get Master Romancer. Oh, here we go. This spearmint wants to be part of our garden. And as you see, they change color when they become your pet, I guess you would call it. Uh, has eaten a Warlum? That's just so that it. Oh, the value. Tag, bonus info, that's what I am. Every time a new So I wonder if I can get these guys to do it again. Nope, he went inside and didn't want to. So we're waiting for this egg to hatch. Once that little introductory stuff is out of the way, then we can move on to getting access to the town. Here we go. Nope, going inside again. See the we hatched. And we've got a little baby one. Now the variants are just going to be different colors of these guys. And they're done by feeding them either plants or seeds. So now I guess we're just waiting. Oh, there we go. Label designer. See, we're still doing kind of like the introduction stuff here, but let's change this up a little bit. Oh, we got a nice dark purple. Let's go with this. I like that background, but let's change it up. It looks good. And we'll change the logo. Yeah, let's do that. Make it like a green on top of it. There we go. So now the label's done. Achievement unlocked. Alright, so let's get these two. We want to get the Master Romancer badge. Uh, you start to get levels. And it'll tell me about that in a minute. But uh, as you do things in the garden, your levels go up. And you get better shovels or you get access to more stuff as you level up. Alright, let's do this. Just gaining money here, which is just going to be spent on seeds and whatnot. Those guys will do the thing. We won't have to see the dance. Oh, see, he's growing up now, so he went into a cocoon. 
And then when that hatches, it'll be another worm. And I think that'll be progressing on to the next stage of the tutorial, like introductory phase. Yep, there we go. Okay. Now that you have raised a baby worm, I now that we have raised one to completion, we get a little plant. We're gonna put the plant over here. He's gonna give me a watering can. The next time you... No, I don't have the watering can yet. Well, oh, there we go. A little behind what I'm doing here. That's a crappy looking watering can. Once again. Give it a little bit of water. It's overwatered. That's fine. You guys are waiting for an egg to show up. There's the stork lady. <laughs> I'd like to get that donut there. I've never had him show up. Come on to the garden so I can see what he requires. But I think she's going to make me wait for this seed to grow before going to the town. I may cut a little bit of this out. There we go. Got a carrot. You seem to have. I have learned the basics, and now Bunnycomb is interested in my farm because I have carrots. Did you see that Bunnycomb appear? I did. I did see the Bunnycomb. I'm gonna move this carrot though, and we're gonna go for another couple of worms. But basically. This is going to be the goal here, is breeding up all of them, getting all the variants, getting it, trying to get every single one to show up, and completing out the game. Um, like I said, it's a fun game. Uh, it starts getting a little crazy once you have so many different pinatas romancing and living on the farm. And you have to be careful because they tend to eat each other, so... And there's bad guys that show up. But hopefully you're enjoying this and you look forward to the series. I am going to be live streaming this on my Twitch channel. I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to see it. Kind of in real time. And then I'll cut up those videos to be placed on uh, YouTube. But let me know in the comment section what you think about this series. What you think about this game. If you want to see some more, hit that like button. And like always guys, good luck and have fun.